It's the Big Sam Studio. So today I felt my inspirational juices flowing and I decided to grab my canvas, roll it out, measure, cut, tape, 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 and start off my drawing with my mechanical pencil to start my sketch. After that, I outlined my pencil sketch with some light paint and a paintbrush and erased all the pencil marks so that it wouldn't get washed into the paint further on into the painting. Next, I'm going to water down my paint to add my base tone and say bye bye to the white canvas and get color everywhere around the canvas. Okay, now here comes the fun part, painting. Basically now I'm just taking a small brush like you see here and starting to build up those colors and tones. I'm being inspired by George Sherratt and pointillism and being able to layer paint and understand color theory. I'm looking at the color wheel a lot while I paint this and really thinking about color and color relationships in this painting. So I tried out Golden's fluorescent paint this time, the yellow and orange. Wow, when they say fluorescent paint, they are not joking around. This stuff is awesome. <laughs> dot by dot, line by line, little by little. Alrighty, so here's the final shots of this painting. I was really working on my color theory and how relationships of color can create this sense of vibration throughout the work. I've been really inspired recently by George Sherratt's artwork and pointillism and looking at art history and how form builds through color and although seemingly random at times, how color interacts with each other and how intentional each color is and where they're placed next to each other. I'm still learning a lot about this and I'm really using my color theory knowledge and the color wheel to help inform this painting. I wanted the giraffe to almost emerge itself out of all these dots on the canvas. One big shift in this painting is that I took out all the blacks, browns, and dark dull colors and replaced them with vibrant dark blues and purples and reds. And to really create this vibration all throughout the work, not only in the completely saturated and vibrant like yellows and oranges but also in the darks and on the shadows because there's a lot of depth in those colors as well. I also posted final shots on my Instagram page at Big Sam's Paints. If you want to follow along, check out the posts. I'll see you over there. Alrighty then, we are all done with this painting here. I'm really happy with how this turned out and the inspirations and techniques that I'm really starting to implement into this painting and into my painting practice. I mean, there's still so much more to learn and so much more to develop, but I'm happy with how my style is coming along and the color theory and studying from past artists um, and having a good time with it. I still think I can push these paintings a lot more, but you know, with time comes perfection. So still a lot more to learn. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down in the comments down below. 
and I will see everyone next time in the Big Sam's studio.